These guys have been stealing crap for me, so I would prefer if they lose. Oh, here we go. Welcome to my kingdom. Well, I guess if you could call it that, I think everybody lives in tents right now. We got Peter, Peter, Andres, Andres, Herman, and George. These guys are definitely going to get some work done. Beatrix. Kung... Kugant. And another George. Lovely. Get ready to rock and roll and survive during these medieval times. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been placed, be ready for battle. Don't mind if I do. We're obviously not ready for battle quite yet because nobody has anywhere to live or anywhere to work. So that's got to get started right away, obviously. The first thing everybody needs is wood to build. And luckily, the game has slapped us right onto one of the main roads in the game. So that's really cool. And just based on our resources kind of being down this way, and it looks like most of our fertile ground over here is for farming as well, we probably want to put a woodcutter's camp to start clearing this way. But it would be really nice to actually build the whole town up here where it's not fertile at all. So I'm going to start up there with the logging camp. And go ahead and connect it to the main road. And then everybody that's not busy should start walking up there and start building it. Here you go, dudes. Logging camp time. Summer's coming soon. That's true, Andres. Good job. Everyone's here to get the job done. There's also somebody working the ox. You actually have to uh, purchase oxes or grow them through husbandry. The more the merrier because they actually do drag heavy goods such as logs and bigger items that are going to help us build. So, here we go. And that is the first building of Royalville. It's currently going up. And it looks like it's break time. Guys, back to work. You just started. Don't you want to have a house? I need wood if you guys want houses, by the way. It'd be pretty convenient. There we go. And then obviously we need some places to store our food and everything else. And I'm thinking this might be like my secondary little highway right here. But most of the food is going to come from down here because there's berry bushes and hunting land. So maybe we just put it down here, yeah? And that's going to store the food. And then this is going to store the supplies. So I kind of want to have that as centralized as humanly possible. I'm going to slap that right there. Eventually, the homeless camp will go away. As people obviously get places to live, we need to assign families to work at the different camps. And slowly but surely, start building up our militia to take out the enemies in the area. Because if we zoom out and go to our map, Hindbot von Bernamunut is currently in the area, and you can uh, write to him. I write to you disdain and suspicion, for I have heard much about you and your crimes. Oh my god. He's not a very good person. And send the carrier pigeon to go tell him what's up, and there's some outlaws in the area. Ah, pleasure to meet you, or ah, yet another dog has crawled in here. Yeah. You stupid dog. Letter sent. Well, hopefully that doesn't cause them to attack me right away, because, um, I don't really have any weapons. I think, uh... I don't think my peasants, uh, know hand-to-hand combat yet. I haven't got the jujitsu gym up, so, uh, you yeah, concerned. And then these guys are going to start popping up the granary. Good job, guys. After this, we're going to want to get some food production, uh, similar to either farming, hunting, or gathering. It looks like we have a good amount of berries here and a good amount of wild animals, but you want to have a good variety in food, so that way you can get your population to be happy. When your population is happy, they essentially go tell their buddies, like, hey, guys, they, they jump on the medieval Facebook. I don't even know. What would, the, what would medieval Facebook be? They hop on their ox, and they ride into town, and they shout in the town square, and they say that Royalville is beautiful, and everybody should move there. And that's how we get more people. Royalville doesn't really have roads yet, <laughs> but they were a work in progress. They're coming along. And I'm going to put one right here that's just kind of like an extra little tertiary road, just try to get a good grid system up and running. And now they're going to start working on the storehouse over here for all the excess supplies. Because if we leave stuff out in the open, it's going to go bad. And it's going to get stolen. So we need to be extra careful. We didn't finish the granary? For real? Can, can somebody come and whack this once? There we go. Beautiful. And then we need to assign a family to this one. Assign a family to this one. 
a family is essentially just like a group of three people that are going to work there. And there we go. We're going to get another road connected to the storage front. And then, like I said, we need berry gathering and hunting. I'll probably just start with berry gathering. Berries and cream, just to start it all off. Go ahead and put this here and kind of leave room for a road. Put that there. And then I'm going to put a road just up here, just to try to keep things organized while we have the chance. Because eventually, we're going to cause, like, traffic jams and traders are going to come from different towns. It's actually nice. Like, as I said before, we started on this main road. And this is like an open trade route to essentially the edge of the map. And you can see they come in on this road. And they'll work all the way up here. And if I have a trading outpost and excess materials, I could sell those to people coming in. And we need to also just kind of check our surroundings. Do we have any bandit camps that have popped up yet? It doesn't look like... Oh, yep. We have some outlaws living over here in this camp. And they already have weapons. And their effectiveness is 101%. They live on top of some rocks. And look at them over here training... To come steal my bread. If you come over and steal my bread, says, you guys are going to get kicked in the bread. If you know what I'm saying. Enough about bread. Let's get these buildings set up. We need to get some food going. I also need to zone for some residential homes because these people need places to live. And I wanted to kind of set those up right here. We need five houses, essentially. Because we have five families living here. And this whole plot right here looks like we can build about eight houses, but obviously we don't want to do eight houses yet because we don't have enough for that. We need to gather up a bit more wood. But that's the five houses right there. We need ten wood. And what are we? What, what's holding up the wood production? Nothing? We're just taking our time. Okay. While they're taking their time, we're going to get this forager's hut up so we can start actually getting some food rocking and rolling. Berries are extremely good, but obviously they stop growing in the winter, which is problematic. So you kind of want to get crops going so that way you can get a little bit of excess food. And like I said, food variety really makes people happy. And now we have 10 timber, which means we can do the houses we wanted to do. There we go. Five houses coming right up. We're going to slap them right there and they're going to have plenty of area to work with. And then once we have one more wood, we're going to need a well. Because obviously these people need to drink something. And also, there are fires that can happen. This game gets very, very in-depth with the functions and survival in-game. And I'm really looking forward to kind of getting so much deeper into this where I'm managing essentially a giant kingdom in two different, three different valleys, slowly but surely taking down all the kingdoms around me and becoming the only one that needs to exist. As my boy Andres is just really cooking up these houses very rapidly. I appreciate it, Andres. Keep it up. Ox is coming through with the next big building piece for the next house. Good job, guys. You're really cooking. Really cooking with gas right now. Cooking with wood, if you will. There we go. First house built. Nice little picket fence. We really like that. What are you doing, George? Warehouse worker waiting? You guys are just chilling because there's nothing to do. Both the warehouse workers are doing absolutely nothing. Maybe we just have the warehouse workers help build for now. How about that? And then you can go do warehouse stuff later. Does that sound good? Maybe put up the houses so you guys aren't living in tents anymore? Yeah, that might be the way to go. Plus one family members has joined the settlers already. Oh, wow. So we're going to need another house already. People are just like, dude, this place is bitching already. Hop on in, bud. Which is a little crazy. Herman. I'm Herman. Alright, so we're going to need more houses. At least one more house. Because right now everybody's getting pissed off that they're homeless. But dude, I'm working on it. You see the houses going up, right? Do you not see the houses going up? Let's slap up two more right there while we have the wood. Why not? More family members have joined the settlers. Damn, we're growing quick already. God damn, we're going to have a militia in no time. That way we can defend our lands. And who built this one? Dude, did you, did you pull out the protractor? What, what is going on here, buddy? I mean, it's a roof over the head. Can they complain? I don't think so. And right now, it looks like we have five months worth of food and four months worth of fuel. So fuel is going to start kicking down pretty quickly. So I think these new people, we're going to have to get them set up on some wood cutting. There we go. A little woodcutter's hut. Uh, I'm just going to put it next to the wood because that just makes the most sense. Slap that right there. People will start working on it probably after the houses. And I would like to plant some crops. 
but we have a message. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. Wow, thank you. Awesome. So we got 20 shields and 20 spears. So once we have 20 people to throw into the militia, we'll be able to defend ourselves and obviously go fight the outlaws and bandits in the area. Another family member. Oh my god. Okay, firewood's becoming an issue. We're going to have to increase the priority on the woodcutter hut. Please and thank you. Can we can we pause on the house and go do the woodcutter hut? Maybe, perhaps. Maybe we could do that, guys. Guys, okay, he's just he's just bringing the main log, and it does seem like it's nighttime. But could you guys work through the night, perhaps? Where are you going? He just went into the woods to grab a log, and to place it on the woodcutter set. Nice. Okay, so construction started. All height. Oh, there we go. Everybody's rocking and rolling now. Beautiful. And we're gonna get someone to work on that because we need more fuel. More houses, the more people, the more fuel. There's also some different types of structures that require wood as well. And as you can see down here, spring, summer, autumn, winter, winter is where seasonal resources are gone. That's why we started gathering berries now rather than later. September, November, harvesting, plowing, and sowing crops. So realistically, we would like to plant crops sooner rather than later. But I am going to need more people in order to do that. I'm going to keep everybody on building duties. I'll put them back to the granary and whatnot after these couple of houses are done. The more houses you have, the more people move in. Which is ultimately the name of the game is increasing our population. At first. Oh, and I almost forgot. We're definitely going to need a well for these people. Because <laughs> like I said, it does become an issue. And luckily, we have underground water right there. So that's no problem whatsoever. But we need someone to build that. There we go. Now they have somewhere to pail water and drink from. And if I haven't shown you already, which I have not, the complexity in which the characters actually do things is pretty nuts. You'll see them carry logs back and actually individually chop them. You'll see Andres walking things back and forth from storage. So he just grabbed a wood log from storage. And now he's going to chop that son of a gun. Oop. There it goes. And then he, of course, picks up the pieces, like a good little firewood cutter. And then he's going to stack them over here on the little wood pile. And then as you saw before, Anders or Andre or whatever the heck that guy's name is going to come back with the cart, pick up the wood, and then bring it to these cabins. And then people grab them to obviously heat their homes as needed. Another crazy thing is every time we essentially increase the capacity of our home, we get a whole bunch of buffs that we can work with, including fire carts, heavy plows, sheep breeding, orcheries, etc. I like to start with the basic food stuff at first, and right now we're gathering berries, so I'm going to double the capacity of the berry deposits, so that way we just have a shite ton of berries. And with this extra family that's not currently working, I believe I'm going to go ahead and get a farm up and running. We're not going to have the most optimized harvest this time around, but... It obviously helps to have some type of farm, at least set up, especially at the start of a season. It looks like most of the fertility is going to be down here. So the farm is going to be a little bit a ways from the town, but that's perfectly fine. Absolutely no issues there. We'll set up the farm right there. Just got to connect this puppy to the town. There we go. And then essentially set up a good little plot for farming. And that should be good right there. And then we build that up and that's going to be all set up for the farm. And then just make sure we connect that with a road. And then that family that's not currently working will come down here. And obviously they're going to have a while until they can plant this because they're going to need a lot more workers. But hopefully we can start getting people a little bit more happy so people move in here. Food variety does help that and obviously making sure they have jobs to uh, work with also helps. So things like the logging camp now aren't completely necessary. Because we've built everything we want to build. We have plenty of wood to get the farmhouse going and then we can also just get that family to work in the farmhouse because we should be able to make a little bit of wheat 
before the next harvest happens, but we need this farmhouse up and running. That seems like that, uh, that family that has no job is cooking. Their job is to build the farmhouse, and then they're going to work the farmhouse. There we go. And then we're going to put them on there. And there you go. They're going to start plowing the fields and getting it ready for at least a minor harvest. This is only three people working this massive field, though. So I'm just going to hopefully uh, they get as much done as they humanly can. Because wheat will eventually, obviously, make bread, and I enjoy bread. There they go. They just start plowing the fields, and then they're going to plant. Obviously, we're very, very late to planting. But no problem. It'll still grow some stuff, and they'll harvest it as needed. We have food for 13 months, fuel for 7 months. We're in a really, really good spot. One thing that these people also need, though, is a market area, essentially to trade and sell their goods. I like to put this in the middle of the town because it's just kind of a nice spot for it. Um, it looks like there might actually be a nice little spot for it right here. Because right now, we don't have a very big town. We don't need a very big storefront area. I'll set two of them to right here so that we can have, like, rival storefronts pop in side by side. And look at that. They're putting up a couple of their storefronts. It looks like it's a food stall and a fire stall. So this is how f goods are going to get distributed behind uh, the homes. People will come here and buy the things they're looking for, such as firewood and food, and then bring them back to their homes. Eventually, there's going to be like a weapon storefront, and each of the different professions are going to create their own storefront. And that's where the people will come in and uh, go and bring them back home. And it looks like they're actually doing work over here, man. They're about halfway on the field. Eh, maybe, maybe a third. They're doing great, they're doing great, but like, look at this pasture, look at this view. The mountains up top, cool-ass farmhouse. It reminds me of Medieval Dynasty, but like... Better, in every way. And we are finally in summer, it is June. Ready to rock and roll. Resource stolen by nearby bandits, 11 berries. We got a berries and cream thief around here somewhere. Who did that? Who did it? Who's going to claim it? These guys. These sons of bitches are stealing my berries. I'm telling you right now, you guys are going to be the first ones to go. These are the ones I was talking about earlier. They're roughhousing by the rocks. The rock rough, the rock roughhousers. Those sons of guns. I'll deal with you later. I can't do it right now. I don't have enough people. You can, you can have those berries and shove them up your ass. How about that? Here we go. We're finally getting people happy. We got some food variety. We have no homelessness. And the houses are rocking and rolling. We have excess housing, so eventually we should have new families moving in. And I might have bit off a little more than I could chew down here. They've spent an entire month plowing this thing. And they haven't planted any. I thought they would just plant some in, like, the plowed area. But no, these guys are just like, no, we have to plow it all before we plant. It is just completely necessary. Even though it isn't. <laughs> you know, medieval brain. It's fine. It's fine. A new family started moving in. Yes, sir. That means we're going to have a whole nother family to work for us. I'm actually going to go ahead and demolish the log camp. I know. I know. Crazy. But I'm just going to move it up closer to the trees we want to knock out. Because we're going to expand our city this way. We're going to wrap this road probably around. And then kind of build into this. So we want the log cutting camp to essentially be positioned to do that. We need someone to pick up all that wood. And then somebody to go build that logging camp. Pretty much that new family. They're going to be our woodcutters now. And they're heading out. They're throwing seed. It looks like. Yeah, that looks like they're throwing some wheat seeds. Trying to get as much wheat as possible before uh, summer ends. Really, July is not the best time to plant wheat, that's for sure. Here we go, guys. Get this log cutting camp up and running. House is popping up like quick. There we go. And we're going to get this excess family just rocking on the log cutting. I'm pretty sure by the time they have this whole place planted, it is going to be time to harvest it. <laughs> it's got 2% crop growth. We're going to, like, we're, we're going to, whatever this green, disgusting fardo grass, that's what we're going to end up uh, <laughs> cropping up 
and turning into uh, flour and making bread. It's probably not going to be the yummiest bread you've ever had. Definitely not no sourdough. Let's go ahead and set up more of the grid for the next set of houses. Here we go. Boop. And then they're all going to kind of work off of this well here. Expansion is the name of the game. So we can get that militia and take out that panda camp right away. And everybody's starting to get happy. Plenty of food variety. We got berries. We got bread. I'd like to have a hunting hut. That's probably what we'll do next. But we're currently sitting at nine months of extra supplies. If that firewood increases, we're going to be well above that. Come winter, we're going to be using double the amount of firewood, so we are going to slap some extra people on the firewood right before winter. Another family started moving in. Beautiful. That puts us at 21 people, which means we don't have enough houses for expansion, so we need more houses. And six more houses right there. Beautiful. We'll get the log cutting people done and get them working on the houses. A new little neighborhood is forming. We got two families on the job now. I probably should have put more people on the whole uh, crop harvesting situation. I'll definitely do that in the coming spring. But right now we need houses. As many houses as possible. This needs to become a city quickly. I'm not letting those rock bandits walk all over us, man. And in order to form a militia... Let's see. We need 36 individuals to form our first militia. We only have 21 right now. Okay, we gotta be careful with this lightning. Lightning can strike and start fires. That would truly just not be good this early in the game to have a fire run through the whole town. Might actually end up killing some people because we only have one spot for water right now, which should probably change. But I'm curious, is there even like another spot for a well? Oh yeah, we have, okay. We could have it on this excess road, but I would prefer to not put it on the access road. That's fine for now. We'll slap it right there. Just so there's water over here and water over here. If this house is on fire, it probably makes sense to grab it from here and not from over here. And I don't know why we're building this one. They just like the colored yellow and they saw yellow and they're like, screw it, we're going to build that one first. And all of these will start popping up. It's really nice to have two families working on the housing all at once. There we go. Beautiful. Our whole little town is starting to pop together. We're going to put an extra family on wood cutting and firewood. Because the wheat fields are already growing. I'm not sure if these are going to be uh, too harvestable by the time everything comes around. But we are going to need a communal fireplace area to cook the bread as well as a granary. So we got to keep that in mind. We'll probably just put that all on this road here. But we'll wait for the harvest. We can start making bread in the winter. New families are already starting to move in. The well is completed. And wow, okay. Now this is really good. We're expanding very quickly. We just need to get firewood to make sure we keep up with that expansion. And our food is big chilling, but I also want to get a little bit more food variety so that way people are happy. So this is time we get the hunting camp up and running. I'm going to slap it on this road here. Because the hunting is in the woods right there. And the extra family that just moved in is going to be the hunters. There we go. Oop. And we have hunters. And we can also set the hunting limit so they don't overhunt. There's only 20 wild animals right here. If we set it to 20, we will kill all of the wild animals. If we set it to 10, they'll actually reproduce and we can continuously hunt them. So to be very careful with the ebb and flow and the push and pull of the environment. You can't just go willy-nilly. So it's officially September, which means they are going to pull up these crops. Um, it does look like they're kind of wheat. They're, they're kind of forming wheat, so that's not bad. And our food variety is going to get extreme once we start making bread, because we're going to have bread, meat, and berries. I know, right? Crazy. Well-balanced diet. In order to get that set up, we're going to need a windmill, which I'm going to slap. Yeah, right there. And a communal oven. I'm thinking the communal oven should just be near where everything gets cooked and the storefront and the granary, right? That just kind of makes the most sense. There we go. Communal oven will just shove it right in there by the market. 
But obviously we need a family to do that. So I guess we'll get the hunters off for now and just have them build. And it looks like they have began harvesting. There you go, buddy. Corner to corner, we're going to start getting a little bit of bread. Once that windmill gets built up and the bread making area gets built up, we're going to start stacking the wheat in the center, it looks like. Where's the rest of your family? What are they doing? Are they they're sleeping in, dude? You poor guy, you have to do all of this yourself? You better get it done before September's up or we're going to have some issues, man. I'm going to tell the people that you, you, you farted in the communal oven. That wouldn't be good. Now would it? There we go. His friends have showed up and started helping. Beautiful. New family has started moving in. Beautiful. Which means we have now someone to work on the windmill and hopefully get one more family to start working at the communal oven so we can have a good a good bread process rocking. The thing is, I only really need to have bread processing kind of like temporary, so I'll probably have the builders be the bread cookers as well, so that way they're cooking bread. And then once we're out of wheat, we can just get them onto building. I'm also seeing some people using this main road, so I think I'm just going to officially attach the main road to our town. Just so they have access to it a little easier. If need be. Okay, it's already October. I'm going to put one of those free families up on the farm just to help them harvest all this. Some bandits stole four wheat and three firewood. You know what? It That could have been worse. It really could have been. And we're nearing capacity to start our militia. So you guys are going to get owned here soon. Don't you worry. What are they doing now? Are they just they're just replanting around the wheat? Uh-oh. I don't know what's going on. Something's a little fucky. It honestly looks like we only harvested like two wheat. Literally two wheat. Oh my lord. Here we go, get the windmill up and running. Beautiful. Don't really need anybody working on it yet because we don't really have a lot of wheat because you guys decided to leave half of it out for no reason. And happiness is at 62%. Winter is approaching. Oh, winter is coming. Let's get them put on the communal oven. How about that? A whole nother food stall has popped up. Look at this. We get two firewood stalls. We have some competition. It looks like two food stalls. Nice. And it seems like... Let's really improve some morale. Let's get a tavern going. Let's give them somewhere to go drink some ale. But it looks like we're actually going to need some ale. It it says, fulfills one level of entertainment requirement for the burgage plots. Like many of your citizens, it needs m ale to function. Oh my god. It looks like our iron situation... Oh, we have iron, actually. Not too far from our house. We have a good amount of stone and clay. So that's really good, actually. This wouldn't be a really bad spot to set up another town eventually. Send some uh, new people to work over there. But I feel like our fuel is good, our food is good. It is time to start mining and making weapons. So let's get a mining camp down, just something kind of starting and processing. Because a lot of people are moving in now. There's our mining camp, and then obviously we need a road that gets to here. Oh god, that's quite the hike, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. But it might be smart to maybe connect the berry road to the berries to make the berry gathering a little quicker anyway. And then connect the berry road to the iron road. There we go. Uh-oh. Starting to get some water piles building up. Winter is definitely here. It's November. The crop was still not cut down. Okay, should we just... Can we force the harvest? Are you guys going to harvest that, please? Or maybe they're just going to wait for it to grow? No, it's just going to go bad before the winter. I don't know what's going on there. I'll let them farm. They're the farmers, after all. There we go. Mining is ready to go. Let's get them mining so we can get some iron. And we'll get the bloomery. And someone making weapons ASAP. Because once we hit 36 people, we're going to want to equip them all with weapons. And send them out to take out those bandits that keep stealing shit from us. Oh, son of a... Mm. Are these guys working at all? Going home, waiting, going home. One of them's a baker. But what are they baking here anyway? I don't think there's anything to bake right now. We're going to pause the baking, sir. 
and a new family just started moving in. And since we're pausing the baking, we need someone to cook up this iron at the bloomery. And we'll put the bloomery. This is going to be like kind of our uh, our working street. This is where the iron's going to be made. This is where the hunting and the gathering and everything's going to be done in the woods here. We got two families without work, so one of them's going to the mines. The children earn for the mines. Yen, yen, earn. You know, the children, they enjoy the mines. It looks like this woodcutting camp has officially removed all the trees. So nice. We need a woodcutting camp probably this way. I don't want to remove these trees because obviously like, there's wild animals and some other things hunting in there, so we don't want to do that. But how is our wood looking anyway? Well, we have 21 timber. We should be all right for now. We can take that extra family that was on the wood cutting and uh, put them in the bloomery. Uh-oh. First winter. First snowfall. It looks like we're all right, though. You do double your fuel consumption on the firewood in the winter, so we got to be a little careful of that. But at the moment, everything looks fine. And it looks like berries are useless now. So we're just going to get them on the building for the time being. Because the berries have uh, not spawned in a bit because it's too cold for them. This is where hunting comes in handy. But obviously they have to work through the winter. And as I mentioned before, you can see them carrying the dead animals from the woods. And bandits just stole two bread. Are these in, this is a new bandit camp. How close are you to my house? You guys are so far away. How'd you get over here and do that? God, we got two bandit camps we need to murder now? That's not good. Luckily, we had excess iron ore. You son of a... I just mined all that. But as I said, you can see him drag the body back, and then he processes it up here. He hangs it. Brings the meat and the hide over to this table. And the person with the transporting job is going to pick that up and bring it to the town. The bloomery is now complete. We can go ahead and throw some fuel reserves in there. Even though probably not best to set up the bloomery in the winter. Just because it's going to use a lot of our firewood. We have two people working on firewood, so there shouldn't be an issue. It's been nice and refueled. And then they're going to bring firewood there. And start cooking up the iron. And that iron is going to be used for weapon crafting in the near future. We have to level up our town with level 2 burrage plots, which means I do need to get a tavern going. So instead of planting wheat here, let's do a barley run, yeah? On our second year of this field, barley run. Oh, but this was set up for wheat, but I need barley, man. Hmm. Might be able to have to set up another farm just to get the tavern house rocking. But we'll set second year to barley. Because in order to progress, we need to get these burrage blocks to level 2, and I think that's just through happiness. And maybe we could set up a church. Maybe a church will help. Oh, but we need 20 refined planks using the saw pit. Alright, let's set up a saw pit. Here goes the saw pit. It's actually a pit for song. Okay, I don't know why I didn't anticipate the saw pit to be a pit for song. Let's put a family there. And get them to work on some planks. With all this excess wood we have. And a new family started moving in. That means they're going to take up our final house, so we need to build more houses. There we go. Two more houses coming right up. And with that new family moving in, we can get them to work probably on the berries once winter ends. But right now I want to get them on building. My storage is full in my storehouse. Can I expand this? Upgrade to a large storehouse using 10 planks. Okay, so we're going to wait for the 10 planks. We can leave stuff out for now. There's no problem. Let's have one of those new families also work in the saw pit so we can get some uh, actual planks rocking. New houses are popping up nicely. And now the generic storage upgrade. Get some people over there start upgrading it. This is my first upgrade ever. 
Looks like they're starting to dig it up. And once we have another set of planks, we're going to go ahead and set up our uh, wooden church. We're going to need 20 planks for that. And that should really boost morale of the people. Come on, guys. Let's get this storage hut up. We're going to need it. It's officially February. New family started moving in. Wonderful. There we go. Upgraded storage should be done very, very shortly. Just need one more log transfer. And where is it? Where's the logs? There it is. Boop. And storage hut is done. Beautiful. And we're going to need new logging camp. We are running out of wood now. Let's get a family on the foraging hut before winter comes around. We could also spend 25 silver and two wood to get herbs going. What does herbs do for us, though? A little bit more food variety? Sure. Why not? Let's upgrade that as well. And I'm also going to need stone gathering soon. Where's the stones? Over here. There we go. Wait, is that the stone? Stone cutter camp? Workers gather nearby stone. All right, well, Stonecutter's Camp is going to be right here on that road. All right, and the new families, one of them's going to log. And once they get the stone cutting camp up, one's going to stone cut. And then we have one extra family for building and crafting. He stole 15, 18 iron ingots, brother? Okay, which bandit camp stole this one? This one. These guys are really being a pain in my ass now. We are starting to have enough people to fight, but I need to be able to make weapons, which means I need to level up my town first. So we just have to keep handing shit over to them, and then we fight them in the future. I can't take it anymore. Can't take it. Another bandit camp was sighted. Oh my god, and these ones are even closer to us, and they have like their own destroyed windmill to work with. I'm going to have to go on, like, a campaign to murder all of these bandits once we have a higher population. We're getting good, though. We have 39 people. Really good. Neutral approval right now, but that's not going to be a problem once we get this church rocking. As soon as we have 20 planks. I don't know what's taking them so long for planks. Probably because there's no wood. Uh, another message. Uh-oh. We received reports of a band of raiders roaming nearby land. Should we track their steps? Uh, yes. Please. Where are these bandits? I don't like that near, uh, near at all. I don't like people, uh, nearby. A ruler's army. 36 light mercenaries. More light mercenaries. More, oh my god. He's got a heart army of 127. That's not good. Hopefully they don't randomly wander into my town and start massacring. That would be a problem. I'm just a wee old farm town right now. I can't fight back. Another family started moving in. March is here, so they can actually start getting the wheat. I think it's already planted. They plant before the winter, and then it starts growing. So we'll officially get a full wheat harvest, and next year they're going to grow barley, and that's when we can get our, uh, our drinking quarters together, if you know what I'm saying. Stone cutters is ready to go. Let's go ahead and get some people working there so we get some stones. What are these people doing? Why are we all waiting? Are we out of tools? That might be why. I think we might be out of tools. Alright, tool cutting on the workers' road. Let's get the two saw pit people. Just building for now. Come on. There we go. Yep, get the smithy working. I need more tools. And the berries are starting to grow back, and now we're growing herbs as well. Approval is at 68%. And we have one extra house open right now. Another army was spotted. 36 light mercenaries. Oh, they might actually be going to take out those outlaws. Oh, the outlaws are starting to move out too. There's about to be a war. Oh my god, I don't want to miss the war. I want to make sure everything's set up at camp so I can watch this entire war. It's like the football season starting. We need to we need to watch the war. Smithy's under construction. It's about to finish. And is the war? What's going on with the war? Okay, we got two fronts. They're both coming in. It's good for now. They are definitely about to fight. 
like any second now. Smithy's done. Let me just get a family working on the smithy. And let me get a family working on the soft pack. Give it one extra fuel reserve. Okay. Here we go. Are they going to meet in the woods? Like in the thick of this? These guys have been stealing crap for me, so I would prefer if they lose. Oh, here we go. It's going to be a back and forth battle, I think. One of them looks a little more well equipped than the other. The brigands are losing for sure. Oh yeah, they're not even they're not even putting up a fight. Yes, take them out. They stole my berries. They stole my berries and my iron. Killed them all. Oh my god! Wait, reinforcements just showed up, and they're about to get flanked. Oh, oh no. Oh no, that's that's uh, that's good actually for me. Not good for the outlaws. They just got flanked by the other group. They're 15 strong. Uh oh. That's not good. They're just getting iced. They're getting pushed back. These two are retreating. They're like, yeah, yeah, keep fighting, man, and they're not helping at all. <laughs> they're still just icing them. Come on. Take them out. I'm sick of them. They've only lost like a couple of guys. The brigands have lost almost everybody. Get that flag out of the way. Yeah, that's what I thought. So they just won. They cheered. And now the outlaws run back to their camp or they just disappear forever. But uh, what I'm hoping is that that doesn't happen to me. But it looks like there's no armies too close to me right now. And they might actually take the war all the way back to their tents. It looks like, because they're marching on the tents right now. They're not allowing these guys to escape. How's everything going over here? Do we have some tools going? We're still sawmilling. Okay. There we go. More tools are being produced, so hopefully they'll get their work in the saw pits. Uh, part of me does want to find another family somewhere. Like, do we need two people gathering berries? How's our food reserves right now? 12 months. That's not too great. I mean, it's a whole year. Firewood's going to be an issue, but we're start of spring right now, so... I think we're going to remove one from the forager's hut and get them on the farm, because it's going to produce food anyway, right? I just want to make sure that this farm is good to go. Like, get rid of the hunting hut. Get three people working on the farms. Because it's about to be harvest time here shortly. We're at 79% growth. And it looks like the berries aren't even grown yet, actually. So let's remove them and add him to the hunters. And another family just moved in. So that means we, again, need more housing. There we go. Four houses. Don't mind if I do. And that new family that showed up is going to build their own house. All is fair, right? From some reason, they're just not producing planks. I don't know why. Let's remove one from this and just get more people working on the sawmill. I'm like, what are they doing? They're all waiting, transporting, and going home. What are you transporting? You're just transporting logs from the woods? No, you're transporting an animal? Oh, it's because I just transferred him over to work. Okay. Oh, it might need access to the back. No, because they should be able to do that on their own. But I might as well create another road here just to let people access the buildings from behind, if need be. Another ruler's army has been spotted. Okay, they're still pretty far away from me. And it does indeed look like that camp has since dissipated. They are completely gone now. The outlaws really can't steal from me anymore because that random kingdom came through. Can we, like, thank him? No. I'm going to move the saw pit closer to the logging camp and see if that helps with the planks. Wheat fields are at 86% growth. They're going to be harvested real soon. I already have somebody on the windmill ready to start making the wheat into flour. Now we have a bunch of families. Another family just moved in. I think I'm going to have them work on a storehouse. So that way you have more people moving goods across the the village. 
All right, saw pit yet again. There we go. Beautiful. Two families working in the saw pit. Please get us some planks. I need planks. I need to give you guys uh, a nice place to worship. There we go. Moving them close to the woodcutters did work. We got 10, 15 planks now. We need 20. And they're starting to work, which is good. Another family moved in. Generic storage of the logging camp is full. That's good. You guys can go work on some other stuff. And now we have 25 planks. And finally, we can get our church up and running. I'm going to put it... I kind of like having it, like, in the middle of the town. That's kind of a cool spot. We got two families that'll start building that. And they're going to start digging the foundation. Just make sure everything's nice and level. We don't want a tilty church. This isn't Fortnite. We don't want Tilted Towers 2.0 coming in here. They're bringing all the planks and all the different goods. And all the stone we've been gathering. we got plenty of stone now. We have so many tools. We actually really don't even need people working on tools anymore. Like, at all. Iron's kind of big chilling. How's our food reserves? Ooh, fuel is becoming an issue. But I'm going to relocate this hut here because there's a ton of wood to work with over here. Let's increase priority there. Eh, probably the church priority first. There we go. Foundations of the church are down. It's starting to rain, but you work through it. All right. How's our crop growth going? Our wheat fields are at 96%, so we're going to 100% growth there. We're going to have so much bread. Communal bread will be ready for the wooden church. Here it goes. Nice. Yes. Come on. This should help us level up our stuff. Stocks damaged by weather. Oh, it's one log. We're fine. Get one rotten log. It'll give us some mushrooms or something, then. Some magic mushrooms. Maybe some truffles for dinner. Here we go. A couple, couple more smacks on the church. Smack, 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 smack. Buttoning up the last little things. And there we go. Church is available. We'll assign people to the church. And it looks like we can sound the bell to get people inside. Oh, nope. That's not what I want to do. We can change the church bell sound. I like that one. We're going to get two of the excess families on firewood so we can start stacking up before winter. And are the berries grown now? The berries are grown so we can get a family working here. We'll get the hunter's camp. Hunter's camp with one person is fine. We don't need more iron right now. Let's get them gathering. This wheat harvest is going to be massive for my civilization, man. Another family has moved in. We're at 52 individuals. And now we need to just get a clothing stall, it looks like. And another food supply stall. So they want another family to work at the granary. That's fine. Works for me. Is it because we have no stall space left? I can set up another small marketplace just in case. All right, beautiful. When do we start harvesting, man? I need to make some bread. We need some food reserves. Badly. We're also going to need more houses soon. We are 226 days off of being attacked. And I have absolutely no weapons. Let's go ahead and get a militia rocking. We got 20, so we need 16 more weapons. I can't make weapons yet because I need to level up my town. But we can have them start transferring some of their uh, weapons back to their house so that way we're ready for the attack. We feel at 99%, man. All right. Another house has been built. I need a lot of people in the woodcutting lodge, I think. Our town is getting a little bigger than it can handle right now with the wood and the firewood and the food and the everything. Your family is moving in. As soon as I build them, they move in. Everybody's happy. 64% happiness. And church level, plus two, so they're getting even happier from the church. Now I just need to build clothing for them. Let's see if we can do that already. But it looks like they just want leather, linen, and yarn, so we need to produce that to make them a little happier. Leather, 
linen. I'm probably just going to go with leather. And let's just put it right next to where we're hunting. Why not? As for the militia, it looks like some people, the men that live here, currently have two spears and two shields. Each of the houses at the front here have two spears, two shields. <coughs> Once we level up the town, we can start making them armor out of iron. What's going on with the crops? Can we harvest these men? Can we start harvesting, please? Or is it just because it's nighttime? Where are the farmers, anyway? They're going home. Hey, can you guys come over here and farm? It's probably time to gather this. Probably come September they're going to do it. In the fall. I think that's what harvesting time is. Yep. Harvesting in autumn. Now we have an extra family. I need to get another family in the wood cutting. We just got out. We really need to get this wood up and running before winter comes around. Winter number two. New bandit camp was sighted. Okay, and is the King's Army around here anywhere? It looks like the King's Army walked through and disappeared. So we're all right for now. They might start stealing some crap from us, but should be okay for now. And another ruler's army was sighted. It seems like they popped them in to go fight this war all the way over here. So it's going to be a bit. There we go. Woodcutter's camp is cooking. I need this tannery to get built, man. Can we get some priority on that, maybe? More stalls are starting to pop up in the marketplace, which is really good. Tannery's going to start rocking and rolling here soon, too. Eight months of excess right now. I'll take it. 172 days, six months until we get fought. Another army of the ruler has spotted halfway through the city, and they're headed on over to the brigands. That's going to be a nice little war. It's officially September. They should start harvesting. Oh, wow. They've already started. Look at them. They're ready to rock and roll. And like I said, I already have somebody working on getting ready to till all that up. And then we just need to slap a person on the communal oven. We're going to get a whole bunch of excess bread for the winter. Tanneries being put up in the trees over here. Right next to the hunting camp, which is a beautiful thing. And this should be the final piece of the puzzle to get up to uh, our Tier 2 building. And then I'm going to learn how to make armor. So that way when we do get attacked, we at least have some helmets and things ready to rock and roll. Start to make flour inside the windmill. People are going to come pick up that flour and bring it over to the communal oven. Start making bread. Those two families that are currently working, I'm going to have them go in the tannery, and then I'm probably going to go throw them on the communal bread making. This firewood is starting to go up, but like I said, we use double in the winter, and it is September, so we might need another woodcutting camp. But also, how are the berries doing? We only have 17 berries left, so once the berries are done, we can actually just lower this to one person and get another woodcutting camp set up. It looks like the tannery is ready. Get the tannery set up. We have another well built over here. We got three wells now, all in good locations. A region is being claimed by Hildbold von Bernanut. Uh-oh. He just claims an area in the next valley. That's not good. We might have to start a war with him in the future. Being claimed. Resolve the claim on the battlefield. Negotiate. Um, I'm just going to let you claim it, sir. I don't... I don't want to fight right now. I'm not ready to fight. I'm only two years into my civilization, man. Another ruler's army was spotted. Oh, they're heading into this bandit camp here? Or is this where they live? What are they doing? Let's see. They just knocked down those tents. So is that the people they killed before? Oh no, they finally made it over to those people. Okay, so they chased off the outlaws. Why would I want to fight them? They're really kind of helping me. I haven't got stolen from ever since they showed up. And I'm okay with that. And now we have a clothing stall. And the people should get happy about the clothing stall. Very shortly. More family members. We have enough houses for 69 people. We're at 63, so we're chilling right now. I'm just going to let them claim that.
How's the wheat field going? It looks like we're starting to plant the barley for next season so we can actually start making some beer. Get people even happier through the tavern. And there we go. Look, some more of these houses are starting to finally get happy. They have some clothing supply. They have all of their checkboxes filled now. So these should start leveling up to level two. Once we get two level twos, we can learn armor. And we can get some armor smiths. And it looks like the forager hut is done. So we're going to remove one person from that. And we're going to get them on the granary. How much wheat do we have? 14 left? Yeah, let's get them on the granary to make some bread. Or actually, we were saying we want them on the woodcutting camp. How are we with wood? 10 months of fuel? Winter is about five months long, but we'll be producing wood through the winter as well. So we should be okay. We'll also take that guy off the forager hut. And how's our hunting going? Hunting is 11 out of 20. The thing is, we're going to have to claim another area soon. But I need money.